how you guys worked obviously really hard to get that home game and you took advantage of it. Now you're going on the road. Um, how much different does the mentality need to be, I guess, on the road in the playoffs as opposed to home? Uh, not a whole lot. I think we're uh, we're pretty much at this point sticking to our guns and just going to kind of try and play the same way, try and control the game when there's times to control it. Uh, there's going to be times where we're going to have to get behind it. Um, but I think main factor is when we do make them feel uncomfortable and the ball and that we're really dictating the game is uh, to make sure we score when we do that because it takes a lot of energy whether one team's dictating or the other that it exerts a lot of energy and if you don't make them pay for that um, then it can come back to bite you so really just stick to our guns and when we get them feeling uncomfortable and and we got control of the game let's make sure we finish a, a goal both teams won their home games obviously this year you won here or they won up there so long ago and when you played here Jordan Morris didn't start how much can you take from either of those games going into this one yeah I don't think a whole lot I think uh the the game especially the game here it, it didn't even it didn't look like a Seattle team that we've seen in ever almost uh so um, and like we always say, you know, once these playoffs comes around, especially after the first round, everybody's feeling a bit confident right now, thinking this is their year. So we know it's just going to be an all-out battle. It's going to be a really extremely tough game, but one that we're looking forward to. How do you uh, kind of defend against Jordan Morris, who obviously had that very nice hat trick last time? And like, like uh, James said, it was one of the games where he didn't even really start. Um, well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's an incredible player. So it's, every team goes into a game against Jordan Morris trying to defend him like um, Dallas did last game. So it, you just we, we have to try and be the better team. We have to try and um, be better so where he's not having a great game. Um, but he's, he's an extremely talented player, hardworking, honest, and a nose for goal as well. So it's going to be we're going to have our hands full with him, but um, it's going to be a collective effort, not just one person. And uh, our offense will be our best defense against him, and so it's uh, it's going to take everybody. And but <clears throat> that's what the playoffs are for. And uh, there's going to be great players on every team at this point. You got the win here at home against them, three nil. Obviously, very dominant performance from you guys earlier in the year in April. It was just the one goal that you guys conceded. It was early, and as if I recall, the second half was much better from you guys. You really put yourself in a good position. Do you feel that you guys as a group are stronger and have a better chance of getting the win in Seattle than you did back in April? I mean, I, I hope we all think so. Yeah, I think we all feel like we can get a result there. Um, but it's going to be tough. It's gonna, they feel confident at home. That we know there's going to be a ton of fans supporting them there. and um, It's just the way it is. So we got to go in and just make it happen. And playoffs always add a little extra to everyone watching, the fans, spectators, media. Does it do it for you guys, too? Is there a little extra just excitement heading into game? Well, this is the, the, the most fun time of year. I mean, this is it's such a small part of the season, but it's the most important. So I think we're all just wanting this part of the season to go on and on. So in order to do that, we got to win. So, um, but the TV and stuff, I don't think that really matters. It's just about advancing, and that's our main focus. Historically, you guys have matched up well against Seattle. Is it the style of play? I just, that? yeah, I think Seattle's been a um, strong team. They got good players. Um, and if you're going to make it to the finals, you're probably going to have to go through uh, Seattle. And that's just the way it goes. So um, we just got to go in, play our game. Um, give everything we have and um, see if we can get get the uh, bounces to go our way and, and, and advance. When you walk into CenturyLink Field, is your first memory MLS Cup or have you played there so much that there's a, just a bunch of things that kind of... No, I, I, I still remember. Yeah, that's definitely a, a memory. But uh, I think it's only Nick and myself now. So, But we're looking to make a new memory. I think this would be a huge moment for this club to um, get a win on Wednesday and especially moving forward with this club with a lot of the young guys to get a big, big playoff win in Seattle would be something that really can um, <clears throat> build off of. What's it like to 
watching us play alongside Everton, watching him from the press <laughs> box, he just seems just wild. It goes in, reckless, not reckless, fearless is probably the better way to say. What's it like to kind of play alongside him, knowing he's right there with you? Yeah, I mean, like we've been saying all year, it's um, he, he's a team first guy. He's putting his body on the line. He's he's an honest player. Um, he's like you said, he, he's going into tackles fearless, and um, it's just a trust thing. I think at each game, and, and it happened pretty early, but we just get more and more trust. I know I know what he's going to bring every game. There's no question about it. So um, when you have somebody next to you that you know what you're going to get every game, um, it just makes it a little bit easier knowing going into the game what you what to expect, and it just uh, it makes the game a bit more comfortable. Have you have this, I've heard people say, you know, you're a tough team to play through the middle of, and people credit, you know, the center of the defense, but also you guys in the midfield. How much has Everton really helped with that? Teams know they can't just maybe just go through the middle because those hard tackles will be there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's – games are – each game sometimes – a lot of times they're different. Um, sometimes we have the ball a lot. Sometimes we don't. Um, as the games lately – Probably I don't know how many games, but this end of the season, I feel like we've been dictating more of the game, which I always say that's our our offense is, is our best defense. When we're knocking, we're having them chase. By the time they get the ball, they're tired, and uh, that helps us play defense better. Um, so um, we're going to try and dictate the game, and hopefully that, that'll help us going forward. Thank you. With, 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 the, uh, with the atmosphere, the way that it's going to be, and with the time of year, and also just with the short turnaround, how much is adrenaline going to play a factor, you think, in the game? Um, it'll be there for both teams, I think, especially early on. And then um, <clears throat> and then it'll probably wear off um, as the game goes on, but it'll, it'll just make the game fun.